Are you forced into celibacy by your spouse? Well, you agreed to monogamy, but did you agree to have, be forced into celibacy? I don't think this, this is a question that people usually ponder. I'm an escort, and when married men see me, they usually feel guilty. Most of them do feel really guilty. The only reason that they're able to see a full-service escort like myself is because they are so frustrated, hurt, angry, and they are like, you know, I've gone years without sex. I'm not going to go the rest of my life without sex. I'm just not. Sometimes in their 60s or 70s, they're like, I've had enough. I have sexual rights. So I want to wake you up. If you're younger than that, if your wife has cut you off sexually for whatever reason, maybe she's um, angry with you. Maybe she has health problems. Maybe she's had some kind of illness. I think that it's in your right to have a discussion with your spouse. And ladies, the same goes for you if your guy doesn't want to have sex for whatever reason. I think that when you agree to monogamy, you did not agree to celibacy. I think that you absolutely have a right to talk to your spouse. And a lot of spouses will not mind that you have sex elsewhere. They will say, you know, do what you have to do. Don't bother me. I just don't want to know about it. But if your spouse says that you must be celibate for life because they hold the locket to your dick... <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what to do, but can you see that? You've given your power away and you've given your rights away. And in so trying to be good and be a good husband, you have signed away your, your masculinity, your power, and your human rights. I guess just listening to this conservatorship thing with Britney Spears has kind of got me thinking along this. Like, where are we giving away our power and our rights to our spouses, you know? In a healthy relationship, you can express your wants, needs, and desires and say, honey, you know, I know that physically you haven't been feeling well. I know you don't like to have sex with me. I know you never liked sex, but I'm a sexual being. How is a way that we can work this out? I need touch. You know, how is a way that we can work this out so we can stay in this relationship? And maybe you can't. You know, don't be like me and stay in the relationship for so long that isn't serving you? Like, are you in a trauma bond? Are you afraid that your kids won't approve of you? You know, is your financial security more important than your dick power? I don't know, but I I have a problem with guys who, um, they're not getting sex at home and they're on a very short leash where it's hard for them to get away to have sex elsewhere. It's a very trapping position but I want to tell you if you're in that position you've trapped yourself um, and you have to take responsibility for trapping yourself I have no pity but I do have um, a, a little bit of understanding and so I'm here to wake you up that you trapped yourself into forced celibacy like some kind of a sex slave you're a sex slave you have, you know, you probably can't even watch porn. This is for all the ladies and men who are being sexually cut off in their monogamous relationship and forced into celibacy. You are now a sex slave. Let me know in the comments if you disagree. And a sex slave doesn't mean that you're having a lot of sex. It means that Someone is determining how much or how little sex you have and whether you have it at all. You probably can't even masturbate in front of that person. You can't watch porn. You can't get a central massage. You can't see a full service escort. You can't have a girlfriend on the side. Like your dick is in her hands and she wants nothing to do with it. It's a form of control. It's a form of power and it's not loving to you. It is not loving towards you. It is hateful, cold and brutal towards you. And you are being brutal and cold to yourself because your fear of this person getting angry, like, can't make mommy mad. It's the little boy in you doesn't want to make mommy mad, but you're an adult. And the little girl in you doesn't want to upset daddy, but you're a grown woman. You have sexual rights and you're an adult. You have rights. So you don't have to be in a relationship with someone who doesn't give a shit how you feel and who forces you into stifling your voice, stifling your heart, 
or tries to control how you spend your money, your time, or your sexuality. In a healthy relationship, these things are mutual and open and discussed, and there's like a, a good feeling about it. That's all I've got. Have a great Tuesday, everyone.